In this video, I'm going to show you my exact strategy, how you can connect your Shopify website to Google Merchant Center in order to run profitable Google Ads later down the line. My name is Robin, I have five years of e-commerce experience, which I'm breaking down in videos like this. Make sure you watch the whole video because there are a few crucial steps you need to take in order to make everything work in the end. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right in my screen. So for the sake of this tutorial, I will really start from the beginning. All the links that you see in this video, I will put in the description. Step number one is to create a Google Merchant Center. So first we need to sign up for an account right here. So once you select the right Gmail, you fill in these questions. Do you sell products online? Yes, of course. Uh, I created a test website on Shopify. Do we have a brick and mortar store? No, we are only an e-commerce website. You scroll a little bit down, continue to Merchant Center. You need to fill in the business name of your URL. So actually your store name and not your business name to avoid problems later down the line. The original country that I am is from Netherlands. I don't want any personal email notifications or invite participants. So you click continue to Merchant Center. So there we are. This is our brand new Google Merchant Center account. And I'm going to explain step by step how you can connect your Shopify store to this new merchant account. So before we connect Shopify to the Merchant Center account, we need to fill in some crucial details. So follow my steps. First, we go to business information here. We enter the business details from your company. Uh, as you can see, the name here of my website is Johnson for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, here you need to fill in your business address, uh, verify your phone number and implement the customer service detail. So for the sake of this tutorial, I took a random address from internet, but you want to of course use your own address and make this specific order on your website as well. So if you mention your address in the footer, you mention it exactly in the order of this way. So first you start with street name and a number, then you start with the city, then you start with the st uh, state or province, and then you end up with the zip code. And as lastly, you need to implement the country and all this information need to be at least in the footer and in your contact page. So when you fill in the right information, you press save. After that, you can copy and paste your customer service URL right here, which is your contact page. Uh, I don't have any in my uh, store right now, so you can do that for yourself. Uh, you fill in your, your email for the customer service and you can fill in the phone number if you have one. If you don't have one, it's all right. We go to the next page, which is shipping and return information. So you go there by going back to the home page. You go for shipping and returns. We start with the shipping information first. Add the shipping information right here. Add the country where we ship to, for example. Uh, let's say this shop will be shipped con uh, products to Holland. We select Netherlands here. And of course you need to select the own, your own countries where we ship to. You click on continue, we select Netherlands. We select that this uh, shipping information is valid for all products on the website. Continue. So this is quite important because there are different things here. First of all, uh, you need to select the right handling time and the transit time and also the cut off time. So what I always do is around 10 p.m. because our fulfillment wor center works from uh, until 10 p.m. Uh, in Amsterdam time zone, it takes them zero to one day to fulfill the orders from Monday to Friday. And to ship the orders, for example, uh, with the drop shipping store, it can take seven to 11 days right here. Uh, it's important to mention the same things as you implement here on your shipping policy on the website. If this is all right, according to your rules, you go for continue. The shipping costs are free for us. We selected by default this one. And now we are done for implementing the shipping information. Now we are going for the return information, which is also very important to implement before you connect your Shopify website to Merchant Center. All right, let's go ahead. Done. And Merchant Center is verifying the information you implement here every day on your website. So make sure you implement that on your legal pages. The return policies. So if your policies change on your website, make sure you update Merchant Center with the same information. So here we add the return policy. Here we add the return policy from your website with the link. This policy is valid for Holland in this case. Uh, here we can say, yes, I accept returns for defect and non-defective products. Uh, these rules are up to you, of course, so select the one that's, which are valid for your website. We accept returns, yes. We accept return uh, for 14 days, which is the legal minimum in Holland, uh, only for new products. 
not for a slightly used product. So we click next. Uh, people can send the uh, return uh, products by mail. Uh, our return label can be downloaded from the website or included in the package, which is easier for now. Uh, the processing time of a refund will be around five working days, which you can see here. Also implement this on your return page. We don't do any restocking fee, so you can leave that at no cost. So you click next. You check if all information is according to your rules. I confirm the information and we click save. So now that the shipping information, return information and the business information is saved, we can start with the fun part and that is connecting your Shopify website to Merchant Center. So let me swap to the Shopify store right now. All right, so there we are in my demo store on Shopify. Uh, here we are going to connect the Shopify to the Merchant Center. Uh, you have two options. You can either select the free option for, from Google by default. Actually, I would not recommend that one because it's very limited by the option you have. Uh, so I'm always going by uh, an application which you can download from the App Store. I will leave the link down in the description to make it easy for you. And the name of this application is Simprosis. So if you go here on sales channels, uh, you uh, select uh, Simprosis right here. You go to the Shopify app store. It's the one with more than 5,000 uh, downloads with the shopping cart logo here. So you want to make sure to install this uh, plugin on your website. It costs around $5 uh, a month, uh, depending on the amount of products you have, but it will make your life a whole lot easier because uh, it will synchronize all products on your websites 24 seven with Google Merchant Center and update everything automatically. So you click, you click on install, we install the app. So here you need to sign in with the Gmail address you just created the Merchant Center account on. So sign in with Google, allow. So now I need to select the right Merchant Center number. So make sure you double check that in the account you just created, 985, that is exactly this one. Confirm my account. So because this is an old interface from the Simprosis app from the previous Merchant Center version, you can simply click yes, I've enabled the programs right here. So we get this message from Simprosis because we didn't verify our website information yet. I will show you exactly how you can do it yourself in the code. Follow my steps. So here we are back in the Merchant Center. We simply go to business information. We click on confirm online store. And then we have a few options. You can either send the code to your business email, but actually I prefer to implement it in the HTML file because it's faster and more solid. So simply uh, click here at HTML tag. You can copy and paste this right here. We, and we are going to paste it in our team code in Shopify. I will show you exactly how we do it. So here we are back in the Shopify. You go to online store. You go to edit code. You go here that team.liquid. And now you can just press enter here and copy the code right there. Now we click on save. Now that the code is saved, we can go back to Merchant Center to verify this piece of code. So now we are back in the Merchant Center. Now we can verify our online store. All right, now the verification is completely done from the Merchant Center side. We can go back to the Shopify site and install the Simprosis app. So there we go. Now it asks us to uh, verify the Merchant Center account again. As I said, 985 are the last numbers of my Merchant Center. Confirm account again. Enable program again. Okay, so because my website is password protected, I get this error. But for you, if you remove the password from Shopify, it should not be a problem. So for now, I click skip and continue. Yes, and here you want to select all products default product title, uh, default product description, all variants. Uh, yes, my prices include VAT. Uh, here want to select the global format. Uh, we are selling in uh, Holland, as we say, and the correct language is Dutch language. Uh, make sure you implement the right one for your purpose. Click sync. And this one is not necessary. They ask you to collect the uh, Google Ads account, but later on I will make another video how you can do that yourself. So you don't need to do this. Here we go to uh, sync settings from Shopify. So here you can see that the process uh, of synchronization between Shopify and Merchant Center will take around 10 hours. So once done, you go here to settings, uh, synchronize settings from Shopify, and you will select the right categories uh, on the right side right here. So you select the category that you're selling in. So let's say it's uh, clothing or clo uh, clothing in Dutch. You select this one, you make sure the age group is uh, right, the gender, for example, and the product condition. Uh, so when the synchronization is done after five to 10 hours, 
uh, this uh, notification will disappear. You select the right uh, settings right here and you press save. Uh, it's not possible right now because the synchronization is still in process. So as an early sign of success that Simprocess is successfully sending the products to Merchant Center, you can switch over back to the Merchant Center and under the products tab you can see the products that you have in your website right here. Now you can see they are not approved yet because it takes one to three days to, uh, for Merchant Center to verify the products and make them ready for Google Shopping. So this is the exact strategy what we use in our agency to connect Shopify with Google Merchant Center successfully. My name is Robin, I'm the owner from Robtronic Media and we help e-commerce partners scale profitable past 100,000 euros a month using Google Ads only. If you would like to see any information about that, make sure you check out the link in the description. I also implemented my free knowledge center right there, where I implement all the knowledge that I have about e-commerce to make you succeed. So make sure to check out that as well. And if you would like to see any other videos, here are the recommendations.